Hey, I'm Maggie Kay. So today, welcome to my little bathroomy hallway area. Um, and today, I am going to be dyeing my hair. I figured I could do what the beauty gurus do and do like a, well, it'd be like getting unready with me because it's like almost eight o'clock. Yeah, it's like quarter to eight right now. So um, I'm dyeing my hair instead of getting ready for the day. But I wanted to kind of just chat and give you a little bit of an update with life and what's happening because I have a lot of travel videos coming up <laughs> because I've done a lot of traveling recently. And uh, yeah, there was no time to just like talk and give you an update of what's been happening over the last little bit. So I figured dyeing my hair and giving you a little chit chat update with life would be a good video to pop in here today. I spent a lot of time for months and months and months actually because I've been wanting to dye my hair for a long time. But I picked this one mainly because of this little like color chart here, uh, which most dyes I found did not have this. Um, but it's like the before color to the after color. So I feel like my natural hair color is somewhere in between these two. So if it turns out somewhere in between these two, I'll be good. Um, I don't want a huge change. I just want to make it like a shade or two darker. I feel like I look better with darker hair, so that's what I wanted. It's also a foam, it's a foam dye, which I've never heard of before coming to Japan. So yeah, it's gonna be interesting. Anyways, as I go through my little packaging and trying to figure out what this all says, because I'm not super awesome at Japanese yet, <laughs> um, I did want to just like kind of give you an update because right now, it is like spring break for the kids, which means like between the actual school years, like all my kids are going up a grade um, because the school year starts in April in Japan. Tomorrow is actually the last day of the spring break and Monday school starts again. So I'm kind of excited, not because of the like students, like, I teach every elementary school and junior high school in my town. So I know all the new kids that are starting the junior high school. And I really only do count the junior high school because those are the kids that I, I spend most of my time there. So those are the kids I really get to know and I really uh, get to see. Um, ooh, yep, that's die. Um, so I don't get to see any new kids, but I will have new teachers because the schools in Japan, they actually like change teachers around too. Like in April, they'll figure out like, oh, if you go to a different school, stuff like that, which is something we don't have in Canada or North America or any other country I have lived in ever. So, that's gonna be interesting to have like new teachers and new dynamics in the office. Only one of my JTEs left and I'm getting, so he'll be replaced by another one plus the second one. One of my schools is going from three JTEs to four. And so yeah, I get a couple of new teachers, not only like in the office, but actual teachers I'm working with. So I'm kind of excited to see how that turns out. There's also been a lot of drinking parties um, because when the teachers go away, we have a going away party. And tomorrow I actually have a drinking party with my BOE. So um, yeah, that's gonna be fun. Um, I think this is more of like, that's gonna be more of like a welcome party because the people in the BOE also change. It's not just the schools and teachers there, but like I have a new supervisor. My supervisor, got moved to a different department, so I get a new one. <laughs> um, so there's some new faces in the VOE. Uh, there will be new teachers at school next week. So we have a drinking party to, what I am assuming to welcome them since we have a going away party for the teachers leaving. We've got to have a welcome party for the teachers coming in, right? Um, so I have a B drinking party for my VOE tomorrow. And then also another one at the end of the month, I don't know what that one's for, but they're like, yeah, drinking party on this day too. And um, yeah, last week there was a drinking party for the teachers going away. So I don't know if 
any of the schools will have a drinking party for the teachers, like a welcome party. And as an ALT, you never know if you're gonna get invited to these things. <laughs> There's been a lot of drinking, basically, that's my point. There's been a lot of drinking lately. April is a month of drinking, apparently. Um, which, I don't have a problem, though I feel like I haven't drank this much this close together since, like, university. But, uh, yeah. Okay. Let's see about this dye. So, I have mixed it up, and it's in this bottle, and I guess I squeeze it. And foam comes out, and I put the foam on my head. So, let's... Try this, this foam. How is this hair dye? This is like the exact opposite of what I normally do with Hair dye. It does definitely smell like hair dye though. This is very strange. And yeah, this I could potentially be screwing all of this up. I might not talk so much right now. <laughs> Whoa! I just dropped foam on my floor. I'm just gonna probably wipe that up so it doesn't stain. Mm. On my neck. A lot on my neck. Woo. Ugh. I'm a weird looking hickey there. <laughs> um, I don't know if I'm supposed to be like mixing it in like this or if I should just like let all the bubbles like sit. It's like I said, I can't actually read the instructions. Yo. I think I'm just gonna keep layering this on until it's empty because it says like use three quarters you have short hair. And I feel like I have like medium to long hair. You should use the whole thing. This part here. Let's just keep adding it on. Keep, keep on going. I got some on my door. That's gonna be great. The picture has the hair like all like up at the top, but I feel like mine's gonna just fall down. I have very heavy hair. <laughs> you know what this reminds me of? Anyone's watched Community with Pierce's dad in the ivory wig? That's what this reminds me of. Somebody please tell me you get that reference. Okay. Um, yeah, I think, I think I'm gonna leave it at that. There's still some in here, but I don't think I can get any more on my head. Like it's a pretty dense little bubble. Yeah, so I think that's, that's as good as it's gonna get. So yeah, I've been traveling a lot. I have a lot of videos to edit. So yeah, I have my Nagasaki video, which I think will be the next one, and then I'll post this. And then, um, yeah, I went to Osaka. And the main reason why I went to Osaka was for the or the reason why I chose to go to Osaka at this particular time is the Hanami that was happening, that Unrested put on. So that was really fun and I got to meet a lot of really cool people, which is actually like the thing that I miss the most. And like the thing that really sucks about living in the countryside is that I would always go to these types of events and parties and social gatherings all the time back home and they just don't exist here. And that's probably like the one thing that really sucks about living in the countryside. And a couple weeks ago, 
actually more than that like maybe like a month ago it kind of got me down for a little bit like i just like i want to go to a social event by myself turn up meet people have a great conversation and yeah they just they don't exist in the countryside so it was really nice to go to osaka and do that um i didn't really film a whole lot despite being like a youtube youtube uh gathering a lot of the people there weren't actually youtubers and we just kind of like sat and talked and there wasn't really a whole lot to film. Oh, I need shit. Oops, that's gonna stay in my door. Okay, so as I was sitting here, that like little bun thing I was trying to do kind of fell out. So I'm just going to take some more and let me coat this bottom part with bubbles. My hands are gonna be stained. Anyway, now that I kind of fixed that up a little bit. Um, I'm one of these people that like, I can't stop playing with things. Like there's always, there's always improvements I can do. Uh, I wanted to kind of let you guys know also that uh, recently I've been finding a lot of very like just like strange little snack foods in Japan and I'm not one of those people I don't think I want to do like a whole video on YouTube about like snack foods in Japan meh. Um, so instead I've just been like putting them on my Instagram like story so if you're interested in some of the weird snack foods I find in Japan. If you want to go follow me on Instagram, the link's always below. It's uh, hey Maggie K on Instagram, if you were wondering. Um, so yeah, if you're interested in seeing some of the weird food I find, uh, go check out Instagram. How much longer do I have to wait? Mm -hmm. Okay, only five minutes left. Also gonna clean this off my door. Hopefully it comes off. I love these little magic spongy things. These, these are amazing. It's actually getting this hair dye off. Awesome. I was actually really worried it would like stain the store. Not that that really matters, like between my predecessor and her predecessor and because I'm pretty sure my predecessor's predecessor is the one that moved into this particular apartment. I have found like scuffs on the floor, like actual like dents on the floor and the floor all by the window looks like water leaked in and it's like the floor is weird over there. So a little bit of hair dye on, on the bathroom door is probably the least damage this place has. Um, That came off pretty well, actually. Still looks weird, but there's there's a hole in it. Anyways, there's like something got slammed into the store at one point. I didn't do it. <laughs> I feel like no matter what, I feel this will cover up my white hairs I have, which a student likes to point out a lot. <laughs> it's like, oh, your white hairs. I'm like, yeah, I know, don't point them out. Thanks. Um, so yeah, if anything, she can't do that anymore. Also, what's up with my skin? This here, I have that one right there. Like, this is where I get, this is where I get pimples. Like, generally, I'm not like acne prone, but right here, so if you're like here or here, like my labella, that, that's where, that's where I get pimples. And it's stupid, because it's like right in the middle of your face, and so everyone sees it. <sighs> I think I'll shampoo my hair, use this, and I'll be back to show you what this all looks like. And see if I, I've actually screwed up my hair, cause I don't know what I'm doing. What is this foam? What, what, what's this foam? Foam? Never had foam hair dye before. 
So I've just finished my shower. All ready for bed. Excuse the no makeup. Like I said, I just showered. Um. Is it darker? It might not be. It might be the same. Let's see. Is it any, is it any darker? Does it look darker on camera? It might be a little bit darker, but we have to blow dry it to see. Okay, so I, I'm gonna blow dry my hair. And I'm gonna blow dry my hair and we'll see if it's actually any darker than it was previously. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It's not a huge difference. It might be maybe a little darker. It's still definitely brown. I probably could have left it on a little bit longer to be a little bit darker, but I'll know better for next time. I don't know how it's showing up on camera. Basically, I wanted to be as dark brown as I can get without it being confused for black. I don't want my hair to ever be like, oh, it's black. Um, I wanted it to be brown. I just wanted it to be a very, very dark brown. I think it looks darker. It looks darker on camera than it does in person. Um, yeah, but actually, I do think it looks pretty close to how the box was. Where's the box? So, this, this is what the color should have been. I think it's pretty close to that. Pretty close to what it shows on the box. But, I don't know. Maybe, maybe next time I try, I'll leave it on there for the like maximum time and not the minimum, just to kind of soak that color in a bit more. But my white hair is still, it better have covered up my white hair at least. At least, I don't wanna go back to school and have that pointed out again. Yeah. I don't know, do you notice a difference? Is it showing up on camera? Is anything different? I guess this is kind of a random video. Not my normal type thing. But, I hope you liked it anyways. And if you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed already, make sure you are because I don't make videos like this. I make videos about traveling and Japan. And like I mentioned in this video, I got a lot of I got a lot of traveling videos coming up. Uh, so, yeah, I'm not, I don't notice a big difference. I don't know. Maybe I need to see like an actual before and after. Anyways, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.